What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Continued on Tasty Loot Gaming, the show where we play a game we've been playing and we give you our uh, impressions of it and tell you why we think you should be playing yourself. My name's Seth and uh, today I'm going to be playing Hawkin on PS4. Now Hawkin is a game that came out uh, a couple years ago on PC, I think like 2013, 2012 maybe. Um, came out a while ago though on PC, uh, free to play, at the time was really great looking. Um, and uh, was kind of offering something that a lot of games weren't offering, mech combat. Uh, it wasn't just your average uh, first person shooter. Um, I played it quite a bit actually on the PC and it just released on PS4. Uh, so I am um, slightly interested on how, how it plays on the PS4. Now I've done the uh, tutorial a little bit so I do know how technically it plays but I have not really done a whole lot uh, in game stuff. So. Um, let's start to get into it, but, um, one thing I should say already is I do like Hawk, and I think it's a really fun game, um, on PC, um, I'm sure it's great on here, I'm actually excited to see that this and Neverwinter have both made it to the PS4, I know Neverwinter was out on Xbox One, and I think it did well on there, so it's really cool to see both of them. Uh, come out to console and uh, yeah, let's see how this plays. Now, if you have played Hawken, Hawken is a uh, first person shooter where you, um, you're you restricted uh, by how your mech moves, but not too much. The game plays really smooth, but they want you to feel like you're actually controlling a mech and not just running around shooting people. Um, it offers a lot of mechs. In fact, I think, um, let's see. Fuck, would you even look at that? Oh yeah, they've added way more mechs since I played too. There used to be about like ten of them. Um, but yeah, the the game offers a lot of mechs you can unlock. Obviously, it's a free play game, so you can uh, probably buy these as well. But uh, but yeah, a lot of variety to fit your different play styles. Um, also, emotes that you can get. Um, make your mech dance and do weird shit, teabag people. It also has hollow emotes, which are things you can project in front of you that are more uh, visual. Um, let's see. Let's see what the marketplace is like on, on PS4. Um, mech credits. Oh, no, no, no. Let's not do that. I'm not trying to spend money on this game. Just yet. Maybe if I like a lot. Um, We'll, we'll do any mode, fuck it. Be interesting to see if I can get invested in this game again, though, because I played it, like I said, on PC, and I played it for a while, had like five or six max unlocked. Really enjoyed it, but I haven't played it for a while. Um, obviously, I was surprised to see the amount of max are in the game. Um, now. But, uh, but maybe now that it's on PS4, um, maybe I can get back into it. I'm not, I'm not sure. Because games like this always are fun, but it's more fun with you know, friends. And now it's a more accessible game, maybe more people will play it. Or maybe it's too little too late. Okay, so I only have the one mech, and this mech fucking sucks. Um, playing co-op team deathmatch, so I think I'm going to be playing against bots. But uh, let's get into it. Shoot some shit. So already, um, I'm noticing this game does not look as good as the PC, which is an obvious thing, but I'm actually kind of surprised on how much worse it looks on here. It's not, it's not that bad, but it's also kind of cloudy looking. I don't know. Um, let's see. The controls seem good though so far. Oops. Your L1 is essentially your booster. Your R1 is uh, jetpack or jump pack, pretty much. Whoa. Oh, I, I think the match ended. Mission success. 
Well, that was brief. Um, L2 seems to be um, your primary, your shooting, or your machine gun. And uh, R2 was my missile. Faster. Two kills. Did I get that kill? Ah, KD's fucking 2.0, baby. What's up? Untouchable. Yeah, right. I was about to fucking die. The one thing I've always enjoyed about Hawken is uh, the art style. I really like um, the the map. Not layouts, but um, even though some of the maps are okay. Um, I like the design of them. I, I like the whole. Uh, I don't know. It's it's not. It's. I can't really nail what the fuck it is. It's almost like a dystopian future, but it's almost like after that, everything looks so dusty and fucking barren. Um, and then the mechs are. I mean, the me the starting mech sucks, but a lot of them are actually really cool looking, and they all have this thematic uh, similarity to them. Ooh, I need this energy drink, fuck. Okay. Let's get back into it. Like I said before, uh, L1 is boost. Press backwards, you'll turn around quickly, which I think is a really good feature for a controller. You can boost left and right also by hitting L1. Our, our R1 is to uh, use your jump jet. Uh, L2 is your machine gun. R2 is your missile. You can detonate it in the air when it shoots again by pressing the trigger again. Um, I believe X is your special. Every every uh, mech has its own special. Which is neat. And I'm noticing that there's some latency in this game. I think that is hardware though. It looks like it's bogged down almost. It seems pretty consistent too. I wonder if, uh, if they're working on the fuck. Not unplayable, but it is definitely noticeable. It's cool they added the uh, the co-op too, because I haven't played in so long the fucking I don't think it was kill off when I first played. Which is oh shit. Which is a um a neat thing to add, because there's a lot of people I bring up this a lot with uh, multiplayer games. There's a lot of people who don't like to play against people. They don't like the competition of it, but they still want to shoot shit. So definitely a uh, welcome addition. I'm sure it's been out forever, though. I just haven't played it in a while. Now, you can also hold circle in this game and repair your guy, like this guy's doing. I should have did it myself um, when I was dying. Um, whoa. Not latency. Um, yeah, let's, let's do it now. Yeah, so you hold down circle. Obviously, you're vulnerable at this time, but you can get your health back, which is kind of a neat uh, tactic. Neat uh, gameplay mechanic. Got him. Far, they just kind of start fucking veering. Oops. Oh shit! I'm good. Ah, that was smart. I should yell anyway. All these floating rocks are a nice touch. Must be a PS4 exclusive. Or is that a house supposed to be? Oh, I think it is how the map is. I'm sitting here poking fun of the game, that's fucking intentional. Good. Oh. 
bitch. Okay. Oh, fuck. I thought I could get all three of them and then heal. Let's go that trip and kill them. Whatever. It's called greed. Greed's never good. Well, sometimes it's good. You can get away with it. Taking a lot of fire, so oh fuck. Just hide out for a second. Seems like my mech is on fire. I'm coming. No! No! In the air like that? Come on. So far, I think this plays pretty well. Um, the only thing, like I said before, that's kind of an issue is is that stuttery latency that I'm running into, which I'm hoping is just an early release kink that they can fix. Um, whoa. It's something that they can fix early on. Um, did my game fucking freeze? Okay, well, I think it's kind of a good place to end it because um, I was just making the point that um, the game is fun, um, but it seems like there's issues. Uh, hopefully they can fix these pretty early on. Hopefully this isn't a widespread problem, but it definitely is a problem because, first off, the stuttery lag is, is a little annoying, but being kicked out of the game like that was, uh, was kind of shitty. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, Hawken is a fun game. If you if you can play it on PC, play it on PC. If you want to play it on PS4, uh, try it out, of course. It's out now. But um, you might want to wait on it a little bit. Uh, it seems like there's uh, some problems with the game. But I'm sure they'll fix it. I'm sure it'll be great. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Continued on Taste of Gaming. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to check us out on Tumblr, Twitter, Taste of the Game. Check us out on Twitch, Sleep Division. Um, Stick around for this Friday's episode of uh, Taste of Cast, episode 9, I believe. Uh, episode 8? Episode 9. Something like that. Um, it's a good one. We got uh, we got Cody on. He doesn't come on very often. Um, I think we're changing it, though. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, check out Hawkin. It's, it's a fun game. Just hopefully they fix these problems. And uh, until the next episode, guys, my name's Seth, and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy, guys.